Uh, hi, everyone. My name is Jamie Flood, the Senior Wikipedia and Outreach Coordinator, as I stand uh, at the United States Department of Agriculture, National Agricultural Library. And this is our panel on the Wikibeans of Indiana user group. Um, with me today, even though he's not sitting up here, is Jerry O'Dell. <laughs> Uh, Jerry, I don't think Jerry's going to sit down here with us, but he might chime in. He's the director for center uh, at the Center for Digital Scholarship here at Indiana University, Indianapolis, and University Library. And I'm also joined by, sorry, give me just a moment, uh, quickly, our uh, title for this session is Wikimedians of Indiana, a growing Ind Indiana cultural heritage hub. And then in addition to Jerry, we have Olivia McIsaac, Research Information Management Librarian in the Center for Digital Scholarship in the, in the jean jacket, uh, also here at Indiana University, Indianapolis. Uh, we have Dr. Jason Ackerman, Director of the Ray Bradbury Center and a Clinical Assistant Professor of American Studies and English here at IUI. And we also have Dr. Jamika Piper, Humanitarian, Humanity, sorry, and a humanitarian, uh, <laughs> humanities librarian at University Library as well. And then we have Tapiwa Muzumara, student worker, Indiana and digital content specialist at the Center for Digital Scholarship. And we have Raneem Hijasi. Please correct me if I'm saying these aren't, I'm so sorry that I didn't practice beforehand. Uh, student worker uh, as well, Wikipedia and Digital Content Specialist at the Center for Digital Scholarship. Uh, I'm gonna kick us off with a simple question. Uh, one, if you wanna share any more about yourself, please do. But my first question is, tell me why you got started with Wikipedia. Oh, did I, is that, okay. Yeah, no, you're on. Um, I got started because of Jamaica. <laughs> um, uh, so I, I teach a course on science fiction um, and, and uh, Jerry as well. Um, and uh, so there was a workshop that Jamaica, you could probably just better than I can, but um, it, it was a class project for my science fiction class. And I, I'll talk more about that, but Jamaica, I'll let you talk about how you got me hooked in this. Hi. Ooh. Okay. Hi. Um, so I was doing a digital gardener. But that's an initiative we have here. It's in partnership with Adobe um, and just training faculty. Oh, and it's with training faculty to use more digital tools. Um, as part of my final project, I thought about the concept of both digital literacy and data literacy um, and how we can start evolving more students um, within that sort of realm. And so basically because of this idea I had for a project, I didn't think it would actually happen, to be honest with you. I was kind of shocked how fast it kind of happened. Um, I was thinking in the context of something sort of fun and that where I know students had a lot of interest, which was with Afrofuturism. And so out of that event, um, I reached out to people I was working with. I'm working with Jason and I'm working with uh, Les Etienne, who is the director for the Center of Africana Studies um, uh, at IUI. And I roped those two in and we got both their classes into the classroom and we had some fun. So I'm a student worker. So I got started by getting sent um, the job posting um, because I told uh, the uh, one of the, I guess, chairs for the Diversity, Equity, Inclusion Board um, over here at IUI. She um, was helping me look for positions and I ended up applying because I was interested um, in, you know, just exploring what Wikipedia was as an editor because I had never thought of being an editor as many times as I've used it. So upon being um, hired, I began starting, uh, you know, starting on articles and editing through that. And thanks to Jerry and Olivia, I've learned a lot. Um, I actually did participate in the Afrofuturism Editathon. Um, that was a few years ago, so I, I don't remember it very well. But uh, before then, I didn't really know that you could edit Wikipedia. I thought you had to like, know things. Um, and I was like, I don't know anything. Uh, other people know things, and I'll do things that other people know. Um, so that's why I joined the Editathon. Um, 
I participated um, as part of my job in the Digital Scholarship Center, the Center for Digital Scholarship. Um, before this position, I'm also a student worker, uh, Wikipedia editor, student worker. Um, before this position, I worked with another um, professional in the uh, Digital Scholarship Office, and she introduced me to Wikipedia from there. Um, but yeah, so currently I'm working in uh, uh, as a Wikipedia editor. I guess how I got started, uh, Jerry and my release uh, did a, I guess it was like a continuing ed workshop for librarians over Wikidata. So I started uh, with Wikimedia Foundation, just like editing Wiki, Wikidata first. And then after I started at IU Indianapolis on my first day, they hosted an environmental justice edit-a-thon. Um, and that's where I met Jamie and Dominic. Um, and then just got roped in uh, with Jerry on the grant project, um, which I've been involved with uh, for a couple years now. Um, so it's been really exciting to grow the user group and obviously have students participate and have faculty members participate um, and just kind of grow our uh, user group and just the editors within the state. This is a very long question. So you want me to read it, <laughs> repeat it back? <laughs> yeah. It's like, I don't know if I can remember all of that. <laughs> so this is a multi-part question. Uh, I just wanted to kind of go for the jugular early on and then we'll backtrack a little bit. How has how was your first time editing? And how have you ever had an edit rolled back or an entry challenged? And then tell me what that was like. We'll just start with Jason. I'm scared to admit that I don't do a lot of editing, um, but uh, I bring in a lot of students who, who edit, um, yeah, especially during the spring semester. Um, can you repeat the first part of the question? Have, have I had anything challenged? No, not to my knowledge. I haven't had anything challenged, but, um, uh, you know, I teach a course on science fiction and the Afrofuturism. Uh, edited a thon was ideal because I started, I, I, I inherited the science fiction course from a faculty member who retired and it needed to be revamped. Um, and Jamika helped me with that. Um, I consulted with, uh, with a good Dr. Piper here on um, how to diversify the readings in the curriculum. It's the last 25% of the class I devoted an entire month to Afrofuturism. And uh, so uh, Jamika was very well aware of that. And so when I found out what the project was, um, I, I teach online asynchronous, so I could not force my students to attend the workshop. But uh, Dr. Piper and Jerry um, recorded the workshop. And so the students had step-by-step -step instructions um, uh, on how to set up their profile, how to do everything and how we would be able to monitor and make sure that they actually followed through with the project. I made that the final project of my course rather than having them do uh, an end of semester term paper. Um, and it's worked out really well. The students, basically I work with a grade covenant. So I guarantee the students would be if they make one substantive edit and if they do more edits than that, um, and they let me know about it and I can see their work, uh, their, their grade's going to be higher at my discretion. It's, you know, aside from maybe an hour of learning how to do everything and setting it up, um, this is not a time intensive project for them. And we have a tendency to overwhelm our students at the middle and end of semesters. And um, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me to have every class piling on at the end of the semester. So the the project uh, as a final is very, very well received by, stu by, by my students. Thank you for that, Jason. So I'm gonna actually expand a little bit. Um, I also, well, I don't do editing. Um, I've made Jerry post some things for me or a thing. Um, outside of that, I actually got started <laughs> when Marlise was here and that was not with the Wikipedia that was with the Wikidata stuff I don't think I did anything too bad that's why I was like hey you put the wrong kind of data together 
Um, but I want to go back to what Jason was saying, because I think that's maybe a more, more kind of where I'm aligning. Um, we set up a wiki education board. So that was really important for tracking. And so we know that I think at least for that first round, we made 38 edits. Um, I don't think we had any challenges. And the funny thing about that is we had plenty because of working with Jason and Jason's sort of conceptualization of grading. The requirement actually was just to do the low bar, right? Just do one edit. But some students were like, I can't, that can't be it. So they actually just went above and beyond and made way more edits of their own cognizance. And that was great. And I actually, I'm sorry, I didn't get a chance to put thing together today, but I captured some of the students' um, responses to the activity. And one of the things that they really drove home was not about the technical part, even though we they acknowledged that was kind of tricky sometimes, but the thing that they loved was knowing that they were doing work that was publicly engaged. So I stressed that during the actual presentation. Um, and I told them like, uh, the thing here is we are bringing visibility to what is an emerging genre, but also to the individual authors that are in this genre. And knowing that they were contributing to a larger sort of more socially justice oriented project is kind of what they seem to really gravitate to and what they really kind of pulled out of when they were discussing like how much they enjoyed being a part of the project. Mm -hmm. So I don't have anything to say about challenges, but I wanted to stress again from like an educational setup, that was one of the main things and one of the things I think was most important about the end of the pond. I'm really glad that you you brought up the the importance of they're 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 doing something that contributes and there was intentionality behind that as well. I saw it as soon as you brought the idea to me. Um, you know, writing papers at the end of the semester one, it's stressful, it's extremely time consuming, and while there are cognitive benefits to thinking analytically and analyzing a piece of literature or something, uh, the work they're doing really doesn't have a whole lot of currency outside of the English classroom. Um, aside from the critical thinking skills that they're developing, which which is important. So um, the, being able to create a project where they're able to do something that benefits, um, okay. yeah, ha has an impact on the classroom is uh, is very, very important. That's why I love the project, and I hope we do this every year. So I made it exactly one year without anything being challenged to roll back. And then as soon as I hit one year, the next week, something was challenged. So I had an article that was challenged and it was it's up for a deletion, unfortunately. Um, and my initial reaction was I was really just shocked and a little bit upset um, because I put so much work into it and I made sure to follow guidelines as much as possible. Um, and unfortunately, they didn't, you know, have a conversation on my talk page or anything to let me know, like, what I had violated. Maybe there was things that I could have changed um, to make it, you know, better. But, you know, I think I learned that, you know, there's going to be people who challenge you on Wikipedia. There's going to be people that don't agree that certain things are notable, even if you have um, things to back it up in the citations um, to, you know, credit that person. Um, there's just always going to be pushback on things that are outside the boundaries of what the norm is. So I'm excited that that happened because now I feel that I uh, have like more of a window of tolerance um, for having things challenged on Wikipedia and not take it personally. Um, so I hope that, you know, future articles that I write um, are challenged, but are challenged in a better way so that I can become a better editor. Oh, yes. Yeah. So the article was an artist. Um, is it okay if I say the name of the artist or? Yeah. Okay. So I believe it was Jared Dorch. Um, it was his article. He's an artist here in Indianapolis. Uh, and the section that was most challenged was about um, his work as a, in community gardening because it is um, a business that he created. But I did talk about how he started. He started um, you know, he has a farming background. So I made sure to emphasize that, that he grew up around farming. His father was a farmer and I believe his grandparents were as well. Um, and that is within the article. So it wasn't just for promotion. I actually haven't met him at all. Um, and I think the 
importance of his work is that the area that he is doing the community gardening in is a food desert here in Indianapolis where they don't have access to, um, you know, groceries or uh, fresh produce, which is highly important. Uh, so I read that discussion and that is something Dominic and I have talked about. Like this just happened actually during the planning of this conference recently and we just didn't have time to like go in and help you work on it. Like not that it, I don't feel like it should have been deleted in the first place period. I do think that there are minor things that we could have done to keep it. But I know like after this and maybe I shouldn't admit this, we are going to revive it and publish it because what it says matters and he matters and he's notable enough um, in multiple regards. He's notable enough as an artist and notable enough as a food activist to have a Wikipedia article. And I think um, we just need to work on it a little bit. There are a couple other sources that I think we can add and that should make it stick. But I think, um, <clears throat> sorry, I didn't mean to cough right into this. That is something that I feel like our partnership here in particular has tried to do that I don't necessarily know was our initial plan, but it is to focus on and give voice to underrepresented communities within our community because that's the thing about Indianapolis is there is a vibrant history of African American people here that is not very well documented and that is kind of our goal is to try and in increase that coverage and like we're talking about with Afrofuturism and speculative fiction um, that is a growing genre but it's also been around for 50 plus years now if not longer. It ain't nothing new. <laughs> Futures are for everyone. And, uh, you know, again, it's something that we've found that while it's popular, uh, it's not popular on Wikipedia and Wikidata. And I know when we looked in Wikidata, I think only three or four authors were identified as Afrofuturists. And so that is a part of that work is increasing this coverage. And so um, I do think it was a disservice that that article was deleted but we're gonna revive it with you. Yeah, right. but I like your attitude about it and I just wanted to share that. <laughs> um, as for me, um, I think I have small edits here and there. Uh, people roll back or people um, make edits to my articles that I make. Um, I think the one edit that I really remember and that really annoys me also is that um, I made an article for the Rhodes family incident um, in up in um, Hamilton County. Um, I'm, I titled it Rhodes Family Incident the first time, and then someone said, okay, I'm going to change it to Van, Vaughn v. Williams, which is the court case that was involved in uh, Rhodes Family Incident. Uh, and I was like, that doesn't make sense, but I, I, I didn't challenge it or anything. Um, and then later someone's like, no, we are changing it back to Rhodes Family Incident. I'm like, oh, my God. I it was read the first time. So that was, uh, that. yeah, that really annoyed me. It's not a big deal, but yeah, <laughs> that was one, one edit I really remember. I don't know if I have anything to say, Jamie. I think you summed it up pretty well, just like talking about what our grant project as well as like the user group really focuses on. So like our edit-a-thons and our, the events that we do, as well as the, the work that Raneem and Tapiwa and the other student workers work on are just focusing on gaps within Wikipedia around Indiana. So like that usually focuses on black artists. It focuses on historical buildings that have been torn down um, related to communities that used to exist on our campus. Um, so those are topics, unfortunately, that I guess tend to get challenged. Um, but they're topics that are really important to us as a team, as well as it's important to the students. I'm, don't want to speak to you. I'm assuming it's important based on the conversations we've had, as well as the people who participate in our events. So um, we always challenge people to do bold things when they edit Wikipedia. Um, and I think, I don't know, in terms of challenges, I've had like, I think the only edit that I made was during one of our uh, Wiki Loves Pride event here. It was like a minor like change where I looked at a source and I made a change and then someone was like, no, I'm gonna roll this back. And I was like, fine, whatever. Um, just cause it was a very simple edit, but that's the only thing that has happened so far, at least personally to me. <laughs> 
Yeah, I we've also during our Wiki Loves Pride event, we did have an article that was challenged and then thankfully was actually quickly locked down and was I don't remember the exact term for it, but it it was basically halfway protected because we there's a trans um sports ban in Indianapolis and we had a an edit a thon about that general um that legislative session and that was one of the articles that we wrote and very quickly people started changing the language in it and i felt like i think dominic wrote it or one of our one of our collaborators that came and they did a great job of using neutral language and representing the whole of the situation how people feel what opposition is to that and someone immediately try or many people actually immediately tried to change the language of that to be not uh neutral and so thankfully someone that actually wasn't us stepped in very quickly and protected that so that's one of the main ones that i can think of i know um i know dominic and i have had like a few challenged things i don't think any of my indiana stuff has been challenged though so that's pretty good um this question, I'm going to start with Olivia with this one. Again, as, I'm sorry, it's going to be multi-part. <laughs> How has collaborating with the Central Indiana Wikipedia partnership, um, how have we collaborated with the broader Indianapolis community and beyond? And then additionally, this is focused more on Olivia because I'm not sure anyone else can answer this. <laughs> uh, what does fun, What has funding looked like for the partnership? And can you talk a little bit about how we've gotten that? We do have a short amount of time. So if you don't feel comfortable answering, pass it on or try to answer quickly. Thank you. Uh, ooh, okay, I'm trying to remember the first part of the question. Um, so Okay, perfect. Um, we have a little list of wonderful partner organizations as well as just like Folks who attend our edit-a-thons, um, they get interested in the work that we do, and from there we build additional relationships. Yeah, so like if you saw the list of cultural call like partners, those organizations have partnered with us in some way. We really enjoy partnering with the Indiana State Library and the Indiana Historical Bureau just because they do a lot of great work in our state, and they've been really um, easy to latch on to as a partner because they can provide continued education for librarians as well as they get a lot of people into the room. Um, in terms of funding, we have been able to secure funding through a local fund, so we have a I think this is our third year with grant funds from the Central Indiana Community Foundation. They have a library fund. So our institution, IU Indianapolis, is able to apply for that fund. Um, so we applied for that fund and that gives us uh, funding for contract workers, uh, student labor, as well as uh, funding to host edit-a-thons, provide snacks, um, as well as like promotional materials. So we had some stickers. Ni'im and Tapiwa designed some and they were at the registration. Yeah. <laughs> so we're really proud of that. And we were able to print that using the funding. Um, so we are, I don't know. Yes. Yes, the stickers are all over the world. <laughs> but yeah, that's about funding as about the partnership or partner organization. So I don't know if there's one more question we want to ask. So then folks can, are we out of time? Um, I think you just need to show them that you can edit Wikipedia articles. I think a lot of people are really surprised when you find out that they can just edit Wikipedia articles. I guess to echo that, just have more opportunities for people to edit and be in areas where I guess students can be more informed about it. I think feedback's very important, especially for your, for younger people. So, uh, in our context, you know, they they get their entries done and they get a response from us, affirmation like, "Hey, you did a good job," and I think that hopefully will keep them going. I have uh, for me, I think it's community. 
that's what this is. We have a community and so we can support when things go wrong and make them right. They were just want to make that very clear. Uh, and then I think my favorite thing when we do Afrofu the Afrofuturism edit-a-thon is how excited the students are and they feel like they're making a difference in the world because they are, and millions of people see it. And actually, because of the Afrofuturism edit-a-thon, when I had Dr. Abdul al Kalamat in class, when I got to go meet him in person, I took a picture of him that's on Wikipedia now because that was on your list. Um, anyways, thank you all for coming. Thank you to my wonderful friends and uh, panelists. You guys were great. Thanks.